okay uh, okay suppose we we assume that our two variables such as before and after these two variables are normally distributed that we assume then uh, we proceed uh, for doing paired sample t test how i go to analyze then i choose compare means right then i choose paired sample t test right paired sample t test i proceed okay so here there are two variables right paired variables so first i take before enter then after enter the variable here okay so now uh, i can proceed so i press okay here so the arm um, is here the result has come up of the t test paired sample t test you can see from here okay this the uh, results paired sample t test so this is the mean right mean of mean before and mean after the special teaching program that is the mean after the special teaching program and this one is the is the mean before the teaching program score and finally we have the paired sample test is here you can see from here paired sample that is here you can see from here i'm coming up gradually just one minute you can see the score here paired sample um, so i go down okay and here is the sample score you can see paired sample test it is here you can see the mean right mean right so actually uh, this mean is you, you can see this minus this 73 minus 73.08 minus 61.833 is l minus uh, 11.25 and here is the 95 percent confidence <laughs> interval and the most important is the here significance level right that is uh, 0 0.018 so this one is the significance level right significance level and this one also called p value so okay f uh, first i said the null hypothesis right first i said my null hypothesis so first i write what is the null hypothesis the null hypothesis is there is no uh, there is no mean difference between two variable such as such as uh, before and after right there is no more there is no mean difference between two variable such as before and after an alternative hypothesis is that there is mean difference mean difference between between two variable such as before before and after So th this is our hypothesis. Okay. Okay. Now the question is that uh, how much? How much is our p-value? P-value is how much? P-value. P-value or sig 
sig value, right? How much? The p value is uh, here. You can see zero point zero point zero one eight zero point zero one eight, meaning that it means that uh, one point eight percent. Okay, one point eight percent. Okay, so uh, actually, what is the guideline? The guideline is if the p value or sig value, significant value, if the p value is more than 5%, or oh sorry, if the p value is uh, less than, less than, Five percent, meaning that zero point zero five. If the p value is less than five percent, we can reject null hypothesis and accept alternative hypothesis. If the p-value is less than 5%, we can reject null hypothesis and accept alternative. But if the p-value is more than 5%, we cannot, we cannot reject null hypothesis rather we accept null hypothesis okay rather we accept null hypothesis so that is the guideline okay so here our p value is how much p value is 1.8 percent meaning that more than less than five percent one point eight percent means less than five percent so meaning that we can reject the null hypothesis and accept alternative hypothesis right we can reject null hypothesis and accept alternative hypothesis meaning that there is mean difference between before and after, right? There is mean difference exist between two variable that is before and after. So meaning that that uh, so 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 uh, he, here you can see the score was the mean score was sixty one point eight three. It is before the special teaching program but after the special teaching program the mean score has increased that is 73.08 so what does it mean it means that but these two mean are not same because here there is mean difference right so these two mean are not same that means uh, after the teaching program the mean score has increased so what does it mean it means that our teaching program towards towards improving the score of the students has been successful right has been successful that means the teaching program is really effective is really effective to improve their score so that means this teaching program is recommended that means special teaching program program is recommended to 
do because it can really improve the mean score of the students.